Welcome to World Mission Topics, Lesson 1. I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is Mastering the Basics, Part 1. Lesson text is found in Luke chapter 18, verse 1, Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 8, and Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them, to this end, that men ought always to pray, and not to faint. Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 8. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues, and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, Use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The key terms for today's lesson are mastery, sincerity, and humility. Mastery is defined as comprehensive knowledge or skill in a subject or accomplishment. Sincerity the quality of being free from pretense, deceit, or hypocrisy. Humility, freedom from pride or arrogance or a modest or low view of one's importance. Suggested emphasis, why do we need to pray? Pray because God loves us. He commanded us to pray and prayer builds faith. Prayer is critical for every believer to master. Mastery of prayer is ongoing and it requires total submission to God. Emphasis 1. What is prayer? Prayer is communion with God, being with God, practicing to be in His presence. Prayer is humbly petitioning God. We must push past ourselves to be with God. Prayer will cost you something in time and will cause you to shift your priorities. In prayer, we can talk to God and He, in turn, can talk to us. Through prayer, we discover the will of God. Thus, prayer should be a vital part of every Christian's life. Emphasis 2. Practical Advice About Prayer Practice the following. Consistency. Pick a time that works for you to use as your time of devotion, although God may call you to other prayer times as well. Pray every day at that time. Avoid setting yourself up to miss your prayer time. If your prayer time is early in the morning, avoid late nights. Avoid choosing a prayer time when you will be interrupted. Choose a place of solitude. Commitment. Get started somewhere. Write out your prayer guide or prayer list. Write out appropriate scriptures. Emphasis 3. Prerequisites to prayer. And we read that in Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 8. We should pray with humility and not as Jesus described as hypocrites who pray standing in prominent places to be seen and admired by men. Matthew 6 and 6 says, 
Sincere private prayer according to God's will yields public rewards. We can approach the throne of grace with boldness because our Father knows what we need before we ask, but we must approach God with love and humility. Mission application questions. What are some of the things missions workers need to do to develop a consistent prayer life? Question two, how or when did you learn the importance of prayer? Question three, how would you diagnose your prayer life? World Missions Prayer Points Pray that we remain committed to prayer. Pray that we learn to listen even as we pray. God, we thank you for this lesson in the name of Jesus. Help us what to pray in the name of Jesus. Sometimes, Father, we don't know what to say when to pray, but we know that the Holy Spirit makes intercession through us through moanings and groanings, which cannot be uttered. God, we thank you for everything that you are doing. Give us a faithful spirit, a mantle of prayer. Give us seasons, things, a burden to pray for in the name of Jesus, in the seasons that we are in, in the times that we are in, Father in the name of Jesus and help us to hear you because we know that your word says my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. God help us to know your voice in the name of Jesus we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.